about food or something. And I sat down, rewrote it, decided to go with Lardy B instead of Cardi B. And the first, and it was Bodak Jello. And it got like 7 <laughs> million, like overnight. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I got with a guitar player and we did a few songs and we made it through state, made it through regionals, made it through nationals. And we finally made it all the way to uh, Corpus Christi. And mm -hmm. it was just this giant convention center out there and it was just full of people. And I was so nervous, but I sang, uh, what was that Fergie song? That Big Girls Don't Cry song? Let me mm -hmm. hear it. Do y'all remember that? The one that's like, uh, yeah, make me the, make the, me know what the, it is. The the uh, big girls don't cry. Oh, how does it go? That was so long. I think I know that song. I think I know that song. Your lingers on me now. Something. Da, 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 to your hometown. Girl, you sound oh, good no. in my Something. ears. Thank you. God, no. Girl, I can't you can remember really how it goes, get down, Kasia, baby. You. you put it in my so, ear, in my ear holes. You so know that's what I'm the song yeah. that gave you the courage to just go well, out. Well, it was it. because I sang that song, and that song had just come out. And even though it wasn't my song, all these girls from other schools in the front row were just big girls. Don't just like singing along with me, and I felt this. I don't know how to explain it. Just I was like. Oh shit! It's up. <laughs> it's dope. up. She like it's up. Yeah, and then I got into a top forty band a mm. couple of years, like right out of college. And after that, much, you didn't so. turn back to being shy. After that, you were just like not really. No, straight. yeah, I gained a lot. Well, the whole Lardy B thing, how that started, gained a lot of confidence too, for sure. Tell us about how. Where, where did that name come from? Because you know, of course, when you hear Lardy B and like Cardi B, I'm right. like, okay, so how did you come up with Lardy? Why a L in front of it? Gee. Well, let's talk about it. <laughs> so uh, I was performing an acoustic show or actually I had a friend perform an acoustic show mm -hmm. um, in Rowlett I think in 2017 I believe and Cardi B had like just come out like in the music scene I remember yeah Bodak Yellow she mm -hmm. killed that mm -hmm. and that was at the top forever it was crazy yeah. down through that mm -hmm. no but so shout um, out to my boy Kodak Black yeah hell yeah and so um I just came up and sang a few songs with him, whatever, and I was with a friend, and he was like, you know that, that Cardi B song that's, like, super hot right now? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, you should remake it. And I'd never rapped in my life, ever. I was like, I was a singer. Right. I am a singer. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Are I you never, a dope rapper? Thank you. But I, that was never, like, in my mind or my agenda or anything. Right. And so I was like okay i'm gonna remake this i'm gonna make it funny though mm -hmm. i was like everybody likes to eat right whatever i'll make it like about food or something and i sat down rewrote it decided to go with lardy b instead of cardi b and the first and it was bodak jello and it got like <laughs> seven seen million it. Seen it. like overnight <laughs> If you want it, I seen it. Yeah, how it did was that crazy. make you feel? I was like, "What the hell?" And it's <laughs> you like how hard as I've been blowing and singing, and this is what and done it? exactly. It. And I was like, "Okay," but then that's that's when it clicked up here. I was like, "Okay, I think I know what I need to be doing." Right? That's God. At the time, this is what I thought. I thought, "Okay, I'm gonna keep doing these parodies, build this platform, and then when I release original music, easy." You know what I'm saying? But no. That ain't it at all because now everybody love you for that people are starting to label me as just a parody artist mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because that's the thing because i i um sent your information to my daughter she's 16 and mm -hmm. she loves music right yeah. and i asked her i said so what can i ask her and she said ask you if you ever thought about changing your name because she said that because you've done other parodies other than Cardi B's. Mm -hmm. So have you ever thought about changing your name from Lardy B to mm -hmm. something else so you don't... In the beginning, when when I so the first one I did was the Bodak Yellow, and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'm going to do Lardy B. And then I did, I think the second one I did was Freaky Friday, Chris Brown, and mm -hmm. Lil Dicky. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, now my name's going to be Lil Thicky, right? Uh, okay. And then when I did I did a Nicki Minaj, I was like, okay, I'm going to be Thicky Minaj. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But... I'm glad I didn't do that because if the name doesn't stick, even though it's all on the same channel, mm -hmm. like on YouTube or wherever, you know what I'm saying? If it's not the same name, people aren't people aren't smart enough to like 
find shit like that. Right. Like the, it has to be consistent. You know right. what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna stick with like Lardy B. And I like, think you made the great dope mm-hmm. decision. I think that's yeah, right. Yeah, because you can't change it. So did she, has she ever reached out? Reached to you? out or hit mm-hmm. you? No, she hasn't reached out, but she shared all of my parodies that I've done of hers. She shared all of them. Mm-hmm. She that's respected. Dope. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. She shares it within 24 hours of when I release it. Type shit. It's that, crazy. That's Damn. Dope. Mm-hmm. The, and you all so you always when you did the WAP, what did she say? I think it was I think uh she said I can't or something <laughs> like that. I said you know I like to eat but but with that one that one keeps re going like going viral over and over yes. again because they're calling it kids bop wop on TikTok. Oh. Like they're thinking it's kids bop wop. Which Go ahead, get my go numbers ahead. up. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, go ahead. No, but the... Uh, so is that your hottest one? Ever? I want to say I, it's so... Because there's TikTok now. So right. so when I did um, Like it, it Like That, right? Yeah. And, I, and I called it Like That I'm Fat, right? She shared that one and it got like over 100 million views mm-hmm. on Facebook and shit. So... But now that there's TikTok and it like keeps going re-viral, like I don't know. It's between those two for sure. Okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But they like that I'm fat doesn't keep popping up. WAP mm-hmm. does. I feel oh, like WAP's dude. never going to die. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.